Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and welcome back to another video. This is the second video in my War Toward series and today we are going to be visiting a city called Minneapolis. Minneapolis is described as a realistic modern city map with a variety of different eras of buildings from 1800 style buildings all the way up to 2020 style buildings. This project is led by a builder by the name of Miniatrog. You can of course find the credits and the map download link down in the description below. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so starting off in the downtown area, we have this small little, nice little fountain. I like it. It's nice and decorative, seals off the rest of the area. And we are now surrounded on all sides by pretty much large skyscrapers. I really like how there is a uh, mi big mix of different styles of buildings. Like you can see, this is a more like modern, brutalist style you would see in the cities from, you know, the 70s or something. This is more of like an interesting style, more exotic, something I think you would see in like maybe Tokyo or Hong Kong. And of course you have the older Art Deco style buildings from like, you know, the early 1900s or something. Like this building here, and this building, and I think, yeah, this one right here in the back. Over here we can see that we have a nice little construction site. I really do like that because it adds a piece of like, it makes the city feel more alive just because, you know, you see a building in construction. You see like, you know, activity going on and it, you know, makes the viewer feel that you know the city is actually alive over here it looks like we have some sort of um looks like a library mm, yeah okay so looks like over here there's some cubicles so like you know if you were a university student you would go over here use one of their computers get your homework done you know stuff like that looks like we have some big old tables so you know you can get into some study groups I like that too and you have sort of the same thing going on up here, it looks like. If we go up here, is there any more? That appears to be the library. Okay, so over here, it looks like we have a huge uh, six-lane highway going diagonal right through the center of the city. Because right over there, that was the big cluster of skyscrapers that we saw earlier. This is a train station. I really do like how this looks with the big um, stained white stained glass arch that goes over it and if we go inside we have these little like gates that you would have to pay and get a ticket from and looks like over here this is the boarding platform looks like it goes to the Burgess Plains up here you have some benches looks like so you can wait for your train to come so continuing on uh, we have this nice little stream river that cuts through it goes underneath the roads over here and it looks like over here we have some sort of a uh, I don't know it looks like some sort of like monument or business business center it looks it looks like that uh, Pearl Harbor monument that you see in Hawaii it looks like from the design they may have taken inspiration from that and over here we have this huge tower like it says UCHQ. So let's go inside of this actually. Ah, it looks like United Cities Headquarters. For some, probably some international company that would be headquartered in these cities. So up here, looks like we have this like, you know, normal looking hallway. If we go in here, we have this, you know, nice little like office area and stuff place that you can look out of and see the buildings in the distance. I really do like how they use the banners in order to get like a computer screen monitor effect. And of course they, they hid the top part of the banner with the bookshelves above. I really do like how they did that. Of course using a heavy weighted pressure plate and the stone button as the keyboard and mouse. I really do like that. Okay, moving on from that building over there, it appears as we are in some sort of residential zone over here. So it looks like we have that same tram line from earlier running through here, preferably so the citizens can probably get to and from the rest of the city from their parts. And over here, right across from that, we have some high rises. So we have some nice modern apartments. This probably is public housing. I would assume just because of their, um, you know, very samey looking texture, 
especially this one with its massive size. This is, yep, residential. Very big indeed. Adds, adds quite a bit of character to the city. Um, these look like they've been built in the 1960s, 1970s, maybe even 1980s. When um, urbanization was once again going full in cities. And over here, looks like we have some more suburbs. Let's go inside one of the houses, actually. So these are terrace houses. So over here we have some nice bookshelves. Looks like looks like a small little bathroom in the front for the guests, maybe. And over here, this is the main part of the house. We have the nice little living room, couch, TV. And we have a dining room over here, so you can bring your guests that just use the bathroom over there over to dinner. Over here we have a what looks like a nice kitchen. Oh, I really like how they did those um, cabinetry handles with the um, with the parentheses on the signs because it makes it look like they're actually door handles when they're not. I do like the creators, the builders' attention to detail on this map. Okay, moving up from the stairs, it looks like we have a few rooms all around us. So this looks like it would be the main bathroom of the upstairs. Over here, we have a bedroom. This may be the master bedroom as this is a quite large bed with some more drawers with that same parentheses trick that I mentioned earlier. Over here, we have a nice little railing made with anvils, so it stops you from falling down. And it looks like over here, we have our second bedroom with a nice little view of the mountains over there in the greenery. Okay, moving on, so it looks like we have this nice little fountain surrounded on all sides by a nice little roundabout. We have some more of these houses, much of the same that we just looked at earlier. And we have a nice tunnel going underneath the mountain. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this leads to the industrial zone part of the city. Oh, never mind. No, it doesn't. Looks like some... Looks like the tram line from earlier just carries over here to the rest of the part of the city. I'm actually not too sure what's over in this side of the city. Okay, so over here we have some power generators. So this is sort of like those large power transformers that you see in scattered all around in suburban areas in America. So this looks like one of those warehouses, factories that I mentioned earlier. So this would be the, um, the train line where the train actually comes in. This would be where they stop and then they would it looks like they would unload their cargo and store of, and store it on these shelves so they can maybe ship it over to retail later if that's the product that you're doing. Okay, over here it looks like we have some more factories. If we look inside, I think these are these are meant to be like, you know, management offices for that. Yes, and it looks like over here we have the actual factory setting. So I do like what they did with the windows here because it makes it look like, you know, they're all dingy, dirty, worn out, especially because this building looks very old, especially with the bricks and the detailed or exterior architecture of this. So it definitely looks like a warehouse. Um, this may be some sort of like consumer product, maybe plastic and stuff. You can, you can see that these iron, iron plates over here they may be being pressed by this anvil and they're turned into these little cubes to be sent over and it looks like they're being painted over here and then if we go if we peek in there I'm not too sure what this is ah, okay this looks like just the finished product and then there may be workers sitting in each one of these chairs or stairs that may be, you know, taking this off of the assembly line, packaging it, and maybe storing it over here in this rack. Okay, over here we have yet another warehouse. This looks like the um, part where the trucks did back into this. 
And then this is sort of where the load is unloaded onto these, looks like tables. And then the workers will then take them over here and put them onto the warehouse shelves to be shipped off later. So I just found something interesting back by the building that we were just at earlier. This looks almost like sort of a, um, like a rail yard, like open air rail, rail museum. Cause it looks like these, um, these very old fashioned trains were set out so that visitors passing through on the roads can stop by and take a look at these trains. Especially since that the right the right by the subway line, the metro, so that the people can come can come over here and come take a look at the old historic trains that the city has to offer. Speaking of metro, let's go down here and see what's down here. Okay, so over here it looks like we have the um, little gates over here. We have some benches for the people waiting for the trains to wait. Looks like we have an elevator. Yep, that goes right back up to the surface. So if we go through one of these, I presume, yeah, we'll be taken down here. And here is the platform. So of course the trains will come through here. They'll stop here and then they'll pick up people probably waiting around on these benches to be transported to the rest of the part of the city. So I'm assuming that if we follow this tunnel all the way down, we'll be brought back to the downtown area of the city because I was just at that end and it said end of line. So we'll just follow this line until it ends up at, this, at the downtown area, which I believe it will since we, we went in this straight line directly from the downtown area through the suburbs and down to the factory area that we were just at. Okay, it looks like we're at another station. This one is called Arky Station. So if we go up here, yep, here's the same little area where you have the benches waiting for the trains to come by. And if we go through these toll booths, we'll be taken up back into the city. And it looks like from here that we've ended up back into the suburbs where we just were originally earlier. So I think, I think right now to end up the tour, we should just follow this road back into the downtown area and we can check out anything else that I made have miss. Okay. And it looks like we are back once again in the downtown area. You can see that we have yet another skyscraper looming in front of us, which tells us that we are in the right place. Over here, I found this very interesting building called the Monopolis Town Hall. It looks like it, the city might have been established in 1792, which makes it one of the oldest cities in America. So moving up here, we can see that we have this nice little chandelier. I do like how they did this design with the end rods, the white stained glass, and the beacons in the middle. Makes it look very elegant. And if we go into this room, it looks like we have some more computers. I do really like that banner design that they did to make it seem like computers. And this definitely looks like some of like the more um, technical side of the town hall as there's a lot of computers in this place. So this may, this may be where, you know, they're tracking the different statistics of the city. And it looks like in here, we are in some sort of meeting room. This may be where the city council members will be sitting. This may be like where the other visitors of the meeting will be sitting. And if we move back here, looks like we have some restrooms with the toilets and the sinks right here with the three different spouts over here. Looks like we have some more computers and out in the hallway, if we follow this back, we'll end up back in the lobby. So I think this one's going to be the very last one we're going to tour through today. And it's this skyscraper right here. It looks like it's called the micro standards broadcaster. So it may be some sort of radio radio um, company tower that's managed by them. 
And over here we have some nice little nice lobby where, where we have the computers and the workstations where the clerks would work admitting people into the tower. And we have some two couches for the visitors to sit on. Over here, we have the stairwell. Let's go ahead and take this up to the second floor now. And over here, it looks like we have a nice office space. So yes, this is definitely a sort of a commercial zone, financial, non-residential building over here. And it looks like over here, yep, this is the same offices. I do like how they're partitioned off by these um, different rooms because usually you'll see, usually in workplace settings like this, you'll see different, um, you'll, see, you'll see them working in cub cubicles. And I think this is personally, if I was actually working here, of course I'm not, I'm just a visitor, but I think this would definitely be much better than working in a cubicle because you know, in a cubicle, you're surrounded by a small gray box and you, you know, you go there every single day and it gets boring. Whereas in these rooms, you have multiple people to chat with. You have your own big desk, you have the coffee, computer, keyboard, everything like that. And of, on top of that, you have a pretty nice view of the city outside. Okay, this looks like this is where I'm going to be wrapping up this tour of the city. You can, of course, find their map credits and the link to the download page in the description box below i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to subscribe share this with your friends and be sure to leave me a like just to let me know how i did in this video and yeah that's it from me have a great day